Trinidad and Tobago is a true melting pot of cultures. Out of this spot, our unique flavors come to life. I'm Renny, and here on Simply Local, we cook some of our favorite local recipes or put a Trini spin on international cuisine. So join me on Simply Local as we celebrate food from a Trinbagonian perspective. So you see me cook chicken, you see me cook a lot of fish, but I'm gonna use pork, it's a while I haven't used pork, and we're gonna cook a not so typical cut of meat. Um, it's pork tenderloin, right? And we're gonna make a lovely roasted pork tenderloin. So I'm gonna mix up some herbs and some spices, and then we're gonna top it off with some cream of mushroom sauce. It's gonna be perfect, let's begin. So we're gonna start off with the pork, and like I said, it's a pork tenderloin. Now it says it in its name, pork loin tenderloin. So it comes from the loin of the pig, right? And we're gonna season it. Now to begin, I have the pork tenderloin here, but we have to see about it firstly. You see this gray, some people say gray skin. We say sinew, right? You just wanna see about it and we're gonna cut it off. And if you're looking for this pork tenderloin, you can find it in Massey stores in the meat section in Massey stores. So now I have our cuisine, succulent burger seasoning, right? This is a great mix of onion powder, garlic powder, right? So I'm just gonna put some of that in. I have some black pepper here. I have some paprika, some salt, thyme, some rosemary, and some parsley. And I'm gonna add garlic. All right, so when we cook the pork, Right, the cast iron pan is gonna give the pork a really nice sear. But to add to the searing, we wanna caramelize the pork. So I have a little trick that I learned here. We're gonna use brown sugar, right? This helps the caramelization process go even faster. And the sugar adds a lovely sweetness to the dish. Right, so I have my cuisine brown sugar here. Gonna mix it in. And here we have it, this is our rub for the pork. has been well seasoned now we're gonna put it into the pan now we really need a hot pan because we want that great say and caramelization happening right so I'm using a cast iron pan it holds a lot of heat and it's great because it's oven safe I can chuck this in the oven and it's perfect fit right so you see it's smoking we want that safe so we need it to be really really hot right so now I'm gonna put down my pork in it All right, so now that we've seared the pork on all the sides, we're gonna finish it off in the oven, right? And we're gonna finish it for about 10 to 12 minutes. Right, so I'm gonna put it in now. So it's out of the oven, and we're gonna put it on a board now to rest. I always say, any of your meats, whether it's chicken, pork, beef, make sure and rest the meat. This is gonna help all the natural juices in it to plumb back up and it's gonna be really juicy. All right guys, so while the meat is resting, you're gonna say, Rene, what now? We need a sauce, right? So we're gonna use the brown bits from the pan. Make sure and use a, a mitten, because remember, we just took this out of the oven. I learned the hard way, <laughs> right? So you're gonna put this back into the stove now with all the brown bits, right? And it's already gonna have all the juices going here, so we don't need to add any more oil, right? So I'm just gonna saute some onion. I have some garlic. Right? We're gonna mix this all together. Don't worry, all these brown pieces is what all the flavor from the pork left over, right? So you're just gonna sort it out for about two minutes. So while I sort it, I'm gonna see about my mushrooms now. Right? And I just wanna do small slices, some fine slices. And we're gonna add it to it. We're gonna cook the mushrooms for about two minutes. So 
so the mushrooms have been cooked, right? And now we're going to do something called deglazing. Basically, deglazing means you're going to take a liquid and you're going to place it into the pot and the liquid is going to remove all the sort of brown pits that have been stuck to the pot, right? And it's going to infuse into the liquid. That's really, really good. So for the glazing, you could use cream, you could use wine. I love using wine. You want to hear that? Ah, that's what you want to hear. That's the beauty in it, actually, right? So you could use cream, you could use wine. Some people use water or even stock. Right, so we're gonna mix this together. Mmm, guys, it smells really good already. So we're gonna add, of course, we need our seasoning. So black pepper, salt, and just for a little color, I'm gonna add some parsley. So easy, we use one pot, it's really good. Hmm, perfect, it's really good. Okay, so now we're gonna take it off the stove and we're gonna go back to the pork. All right guys, so the pork is ready, the sauce is ready and we had it resting so it's really nice and what we're gonna get is a really juicy pork and we want it to be nice and tender. It has a little hint of pink on the inside and that's how I like it, right? So we're gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it into medallions, basically meaning just a, a thick cut of meat, like a medium size. our delicious roast pork tenderloin right and all I did is just paint it with some vegetables a little garlic butter in the vegetables right so you know what to do again first okay I'll lie I know I to go the pork <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna cut a piece of the pork let's try it alone and then I'll try with the veg mm -hmm. the juice like running out in my mouth mm. it's really good the pork was cooked perfect. The sauce add, adds a really nice depth to the dish. It's really good and really flavorful, right? And you guys saw I took simple ingredients and we made this amazing pork. It's really good. So as always, the full recipe is on eataforttt.com or you can follow us on Instagram or Facebook. And if you're new to our YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought about this dish. I know a lot of people think pork tenderloin is tricky, but as I showed you today, it's really, really easy. The results are amazing. So until next time, guys. Bye.